Hi, this is Kevin Hill. I'm your instructor for Introduction to After Effects. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you've already installed it. For this class, it's an introduction, so you can use After Effects CS5, CS6, or CC. So let's uh, get started. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the icon to open the program. A little bit about me. I used to work in the video game industries. I worked in the media productions department uh, for a company called Activision Blizzard where I did work on trailers for video games. So I got to use After Effects quite a lot. This is our start screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, close that for now. Your uh, screen may look a little different from this one because After Effects is pretty customizable and you can move your panels around and change things. So let's all go ahead and get on the same page by going to uh, Window here and Workspace. And then you can make, you can change up your workspace any way you like, but uh, just uh, while you're getting used to it, just go all the way down to Reset Standard. And it'll ask you that, and uh, yes, you do want to reset it, hit yes. I've already done it, so nothing changed on my screen, but yours may rearrange a little bit. Okay, let's take a tour of our uh, application window, which is the uh, entire thing that you see here. Right along here, along the top, these uh, icons, uh, that's called your tools panel. Uh, some of these buttons are grayed out, and the reason for that is that we don't have any projects open right now. This panel is called our project panel, and you'll see your assets, basically your sound and video and, and all the parts that you use to create your project. You'll be able to see them here. This is your composition window. And that's where you're going to see the video that you're working on, and you're going to be able to make adjustments to it. We also have our info panel and our audio panel, which is right here, and our preview panel, effects and presets. And down here, this is called our timeline. And then over here, this is called our time graph. Those are the essential pieces to this, but um, obviously there's more to it. But this is a kind of a quick rundown. I'm going to just take a little bit out of the book here. Um, a basic After Effects work, workflow follows six steps. Importing and organizing footage. That is where you're going to use your um, project window right here. You're going to uh, create compositions, um, which is pretty much everything's going to be towards that, but you'll be able to see the composition here. Uh, arranging layers. That is happening here. All of your layers are going to be lined up here, and um, the, the ones that are higher up on the on the list are the ones that are in front of the ones below. And I'll explain more on that a little bit later. That's, a, that's an important one to know because if you can't see something that's there, it's probably behind something. And the order that you put your pieces, your layers, uh, is very important. We've got uh, adding effects and uh, animating elements. Um, that's going to partly happen here. We've also got some presets and you can... A lot of things in uh, After Effects you can do a couple of different ways. So it's customizable to the, the way you like to work. Just like uh, Photoshop and other programs, there's usually several different ways to solve the same problem. Right, well there's uh, several ways to start your project. Um, we're going to go ahead and go um, with the textbook. First thing you want to do is get some uh, assets in there. You're going to click on File, and then go down to Import, File, and then click on that. And then wherever you have installed your After Effects Classroom in a Book files, go ahead and navigate to that. We've got Lesson 1, Assets. I'm just going to change the view to List so we can see that a little better. Select all of those, and hit Open. Right, so now you can see that these have appeared down here in our project. I have clicked on this one called Dancer's MOV, and as you probably know, an MOV is Apple's format for video, or one of their formats for video. An MP3, as you probably know, is music, or sound, to be more exact. Then we've got a couple more MOVs, which look like little video clips that are going to... We're going to put all this stuff together to make, uh, make our project. Okay, well there are several ways to start your project. Um, we're going to just import some assets. So you're going to go up here to File, and File, and then go down to Import File, then navigate to your um, wherever you've put your After Effects Classroom in a book. 
um, you want to copy them over to your hard drive from the uh, DVD. Uh, it's, it's just better than trying to work from the CD. And it could also cause problems if, if um, you do it that way. So copy it over. So we're going to go to Lesson 1 and then go to our Assets folder, so double click that. And then these are the pieces that we're going to put together to create our project. I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, these bottom four just by clicking and dragging. Drag a little box in like that. And you see all your files up here down here in file name. So you've got that and then you just hit OK. I'm sorry, open. And there they are in our project window. But there's another way to import footage. Double click right there in that window. It's got to be right here and it'll pull up whatever the last folder you were in um, but you can also import stuff that way as well so we're going to import this PSD file and PSD is a Photoshop document it's asking us how we want to do this and because Photoshop can have layers we want to keep those so we're going to hit we're going to make sure this radio button is checked and then hit OK it's going to import it as a composition so this little icon right here indicates that we are looking at a composition. I'm going to get into uh, compositions a little bit more in the future. So we've pulled our assets in here. The important thing to note, this is pretty important, the files are not actually moved anywhere. What this indicates is it's referencing the file that's in the folder that we pointed it to. This is important because if you change that file then it's going to change whatever happens here because it's referencing that file. You haven't duplicated the file and you're making a new copy of it. You're working from a file that's already in a folder that we pointed it to. It's an important concept to understand. Okay, so um, we're getting started here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save our project. So the way to do that is file and oops. yeah, if you go over like this you're gonna hit different uh, menus so file go down to save so control s we're just gonna call it um, what you call it whatever you like we'll call it example one AEP and AEP is the um, indicator that it's an After Effects project. Next we're going to create a composition. Compositions can actually have compositions within compositions which is pretty cool and it helps if your um, project starts getting very complex with a lot of different things going on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on some of our assets here. Now if you hold down control or uh, command if you're using a Mac and then click you can select the pieces you want. We're gonna pick these these pieces right here and you can just drag them right down here and then let it go. What we're doing is creating a composition from these selections. The size is being set by the size of videos that we're bringing in. You can always change that. You can start out and create the size of your, your project beforehand, but uh, we'll go ahead and do it this way to uh, start OK. And now we have layers, five layers. The, this top one, which is uh, pulsatingwaves.mov, is the one that is on top. So if you had like five sheets of paper, this one would be the one on top, and you have the other pages underneath. So think of it like layered sheets of paper, one on top of the other. This is the top one, and this is the bottom one. Okay, so that's a quick rundown on the interface, and I'll have more for you in the next video. See you then.